Hello everyone, this is Say from beforexcode.com. Today I will show you how to set up the TVA project. So first of all, once you have downloaded the thank you.zip file, extract it, and you will find two folders, extra files and projects. In the extra files, we will see the internal libraries, the additional libraries, the resources, and the source code of the Java library we have used for the B4A media projection. This library is to capture the screen of the B4A or the Android. Then we have tvalterdb.sql. So first of all, we have to set up the database. So we will open Microsoft SQL, go here and connect to our instance, connect, databases, right click, new database. We'll call it TV Alter. Click OK. Once you click OK, scroll down, you'll see the newly created database, which is an empty database. Then we have to go and open file, tvalterdb.sql. Make sure you have selected TV Alter and click Execute. Once you click Execute, you will see a message says commands completed successfully. That means the database has been completed. If we go to the TV Alter, right click, refresh, you will see that now it contains tables and store procedures. These store procedures will be used in the JRDC2 later on, you will see. Now, go to the back to the files, then projects, then updated JRDC, right click, extract, updated JRDC, then before we open the project, we'll have to go to the files, config, right click, edit with notepad. As you will see here, it says the connection string to the SQL database. It says the SQL IP and the SQL port. So the SQL IP for, for me in my case, right now, I'm using the JRDC on, on the, my laptop, so it's it's a local connection, so I'm just going to go and open CMD, IP config, and this is my IP. Right click, copy, paste. Make sure it has no spaces. Then, SQL port. The SQL port has to be 1.4. 3, 3. So how to set up the, this port? We have to go to the SQL server, configuration tools, SQL server 2014. Then protocols for SQL Express, TCP IP, in case you have the status of the TCP IP disabled, you have to click right click, enable, then a message will show that says you have to restart the service. So we have to go back to the SQL server services, right click, restart, press yes, and it will start the service again. Back to the protocols for SQL Express, right click, after, after the status is shown enabled, right click, properties, IP addresses, scroll all the way down and input 1433 in the TCP port. Click OK. And now we have created the port 1433 for the SQL. Then we have to go to the control panel, firewall, Windows firewall, advanced settings, inbound rules, New rule, port, next, 1433, next, 
allow the connection next next give it a name example sql port and press finish the same thing with the outbound rules press on outbound rules new rule port next one four three three next allow the connection next next give it a name sql port then finish after we have enabled the sql port we have to set up the sql port in the config that properties for the jrdc 1433 as we have set it before then you have to enter your sql instance user id and the password so in my case my user id is sa2 my password is sa123 same after you have changed these you have to change these as well the same values the server port for the jrdc to run on so in my case it's 17178 we have to go to the control panel firewall windows firewall advanced settings inbound rules new rule the same steps we will do as we did with the SQL port. So specific local ports 17178. Next, allow the connection. Next, next, give it a name. JRDC2 port or connection port. Finish. And the same thing with the outbound rule. New rule, port, next. 17178 next allow the connection next next give it a name and press finish as you can see here below are the SQL commands the procedures and the SQL secrets that we'll be using in the JRDC click save back to the the folder projects same thing we will do with the JRDC audio extract to JRDC audio and this time we will not open the files folder we will open the project JRDC audio it's very simple once you open the project you'll see here manager.initialize and there is another port 17177 we have separated the audio from the the video why because we don't want any lag we want it real-time audio so we have separated and we we have given it a separate port so 17177 in my case the port we have to open it in the firewall the same steps we did in the normal JRTC and the Microsoft SQL ports control panel firewall Windows firewall advanced settings inbound rules new rule port next and we give it the port we want to open next allow the connection give it a name JRDC audio and press finish the same steps with the outbound rules back to the project now updated team viewer alter b4j this is the project for the desktop connection and controlling Open the project, scroll all the way down, Team Viewer Alter. Once it's open, you will see here there are additional jar file and the additional jar files here as well. So we'll have to go to the folder, files, extra files, 
and we have to copy the following b4j apologies additional libraries important additional libraries the additional libraries here in this folder we have to copy them and paste them in the additional libraries for the b4j and the b4a so libraries right click open additional libraries folder and we have to paste the project the jar files just copy them and paste them the same thing with the java cv dash bin extract it and drag and drop in the additional folder once you have done that we have to go back to the project as you can see here it says change this and change this first one is jrdc2 ip the b4j team viewer alternative b4j works on two methods the first method is connecting to the Microsoft SQL using JRDC2 and the second method connects to the Microsoft SQL directly there are two activities or two modules or two screens that connect to the Microsoft SQL directly the MF the M file transfer which is here connects to the SQL directly and the run commands advance So, go back to the main, change the IP with the server IP. In our case, it's in my case, it's my local laptop IP. And the same thing with the SQL IP. In my case, 12192.168.100.17. And the SQL port. Once we have done that, we click save and the team viewer b4j project is ready close the project go back to the files folder projects then we have to open the b4a project Once you open the project in the main module, you'll see there's additional resources. These resources are very important for the accessible service to run. So we go to the back to the files folder, extra files, and you'll see here important resources accessibility. Accessibility. Go copy this folder, paste it in any folder you would like then copy the path of this folder and paste it here the b4a project works on jrdc strictly there is no direct connection to the Microsoft sql so two things we have to change first thing is the jrdc to connection and the jrdc to audio connection as we have done before, we have opened the port 17178 and 17177. So put here your JRDC2 IP and JRDC2 audio IP. Once you have done that, the project is ready to run. These are the steps to run the B4J and the B4A projects. Team viewer alternative. Please note that we will upload a new update within two days. The two updates will include the zoom and zoom out using the B4A plus the Windows system audio recordings using the B4J. We didn't have enough time, so within the two next two days, we'll upload a new update. If you have any question, if you need any help, please send us an email at safe.samir at gap111.com and we will help you right away.
Thank you very much for your support. See you very soon.